Hello, this is our 10th lecture. We are going to learn about new plot. Please open GitHub and click on lecture 10 here. New plot is a free and open source command line driven plotting utility. You can plot high quality graphs using raw data files or Excel like prog program outputs. Okay, like uh, if you are doing your graphs on Excel or a LibreOffice or a Google Sheets, you don't need to do them anymore. You can uh, plot high quality graphs uh, using new plot. Okay. Uh, before starting this story, please make a lecture 10 folder. And download the data from here. There's a data I prepared. When you click on this here link, you will see that there is a data here. This data is actually the populations of three countries, Turkey, Germany and the United Kingdom uh, from uh, 1960 to 2021. We will use this data file, txt file, uh, to draw our graphs today. When you open this link, please right click and click on save as in the lecture 10 folder uh, click save here then in the terminal when you type ls in the lecture 10 folder when you type ls you should see population.txt go back and type new plot on a terminal window to start new plot here we can directly start new plot by typing new plot on the terminal window. Uh, please check the version of your new plot. If it is not 5.2, you may not do some uh, things here I will do. But uh, it's not that important actually. If you don't have new plot 5.2 version, uh, you may not do what I do here, but there is a way for you to do that things okay i'm not sure uh, i don't think you will uh, face with this kind of a problem but uh, if you face with a problem about the version uh, please let us know in the laboratory here uh, we can directly plot the population.txt data by just typing plot population.txt uh, in between the uh, quotation marks. When we type this, a pop-up window opens like this and uh, we can see the population increases from uh, this value to this value by these years from 1960 to 19, uh, 2021. Of course, this is just an initial plot we can increase the quality of this plot but before that uh, this comment here population uh, uh, quotation marks population.txt is exactly the same as this comment actually using one two this one means uh, we use the first column as the x-axis and the second column as the y-axis of our plot when you press enter you will see this kind of uh, you will see exactly the same plot here but only the title or the label is different here okay when you type this one you will see here only population.txt and when you write this one you will see population.txt using one and one uh, colon two okay uh, okay like this one now we can update this label name by just typing title Turkey uh, to run the previous command you can press jtrlp two times on my computer maybe only one time on your computer you can see like this and then you can type here title Turkey and you press enter 
you will see that the label name uh, changes. Now on new plot, we have uh, all the comments short names. For example, plot's short name is just P. And then you can just write population.txt and U and S for using one, two, T for title. If you write this command and press enter, you will see exactly the same uh, graph again. We have lots of a shape line shape and point shape and color options as shown on this picture to see this picture on new plot you can just type test and press enter then this pop-up window will appear uh, you can you can just check uh, what kind of colors you can use by looking I'm not sure why yeah what kind of colors and the shapes for the uh, points and the, what kind of lines line with it dash types and if you have bar graphs pattern pattern types uh, you can use uh, you can see by typing test on a uh, new plot term now let's choose the seventh type of line which is shown here it's a filled circle in red okay let's choose this shape i'm just pressing ctrl p to find this command and then i'm just typing lt instead of line type as a short name of line type and press seven and press enter here to see my graph okay i just clicked on this one button to make my uh, graph fit to the uh, this visualization okay now let me again check what happens okay this one is the default type of visualization now. Okay, now uh, this LT7 means in the test here, choose the type of the dot and choose the color uh, of seven, which is red here, okay? But we can change the color of these dots by just typing LC minus one for example minus one is black here lc is the short name of line color lc minus one if you would like to use uh, some colors different than these default values you can use the RGB codes. Like here, there's an RGB code, and we type here LC RGB uh, in the quotation marks. The number uh, FF9876. If you type this instead of minus one, RGB. FF9876 when you press enter you will see that th this color is a color from the RGB code now if you wanna check the RGB codes the other RGB codes you can just click on this and you can see the RGB code whatever color you wanna use like you can choose this color and the RGB code is this one. If you type that name here and press enter, you will see that 
your color is exactly the same as this one now if you choose this one this is the RGB color and you can just type this code here press enter to see your uh, dots are in this color now okay you can also choose from here and the RGB code of this one maybe it's not here okay RGB let's choose this color 004F 00FFFF we just choose this one I think which one was this one when we press enter you will see that the color of our uh, dots are now in this color all right you can close this one now and we can also use some names of the colors like navy blue dark gray light gray like uh, orange maybe okay navy blue for example and then you can open to see your dots are in navy blue now we can see uh, our data with lines by just typing with lines after the color name like with lines w and l and then your plot will become like this only with lines or you can change it with line and points then you will have both lines and the points you can increase the line with it by just typing lv3 before the width line points okay before the width line points this lv means line with it and if you type 2 for example here then your line with it will be 2 uh, will be a little bit thicker Let me check what I set as the line with it. It is three here in this example. Let's set it as three. And then you will see exactly the same view as this example's picture. Okay. Now uh, we can set X and Y value ranges like here in this picture our x starts from 1960 and it goes until 9, uh, 2030 but i have data until to 2022 and i can set it from 1962 to 2022 increasing 10 by 10 by just writing set x range set x range and we can also set y range from 20 million let me count one two three one two three to 90 million After, when we do this our plot doesn't change automatically to apply these changes to the, our to our plot, we can just type replot. If we write a comment starting with set or unset here on the terminal window, those changes doesn't apply automatically on our plot. We should type replot. Okay. Now our uh, graph starts from 1962 and ends at 19 uh, 2022 but i want it to increase 10 by 10 so we need to use this command 
the one of these commands actually we can use set x ticks and we can write the uh, x tick values here set x ticks and we can write these values here when we replot you will see that we only see 1962, 82, 2002, and 2022 here as we just defined. We can use set x ticks, auto frag command, auto frag. We can type the start value, comma. We can type the uh, value that we want it to increase. Then when we type replot, we can see that it increases 10 by 10, 10 by 10 now. If you want it to uh, be until 1992, for example, we can also type comma 1992 and then press enter. When we replot, we will not see 2002, 2022, etc. here. Okay, so, so it's also possible like uh, typing the end value of this one here but now I will run this command and then I will replot <coughs> we can add labels for the x-axis and the y-axis by using this set x label and set y label commands set x label year and set y label population then when we replot we will see the names of our access are written on the graph but here these numbers are not easy to read for everyone we can just change them dividing by a million and we can define it in this label so to change this label we can again write set y label population in millions for example and then we can plot by pressing the upper arrow finding this plot command and then going to this using command if we just type here between the parentheses dollar two divided by a million when we press enter our y range values will be between 20 to 90 so we need to also to fix this y range values i will first press enter then i will set y ticks y range sorry between 20 to 90. i will press enter and i will replot now let's check the uh, graph it starts from 20 goes until 90 and it is population in millions here, the name of my y-axis, all right? Then uh, we, can, we can also make some other mat mathematical expressions, mathematical operations here for the first column or for the second column, okay? Just we can divide by, a, by some number or we can add some number, we can multiply it or etc. Okay, now to make our visualization better, we can set the border length by typing this set border line with it 1.5 here. When we type replot again, we will see that our line, num uh, line with it changed from this one to this 1.2, okay? If you move your graph uh, with your uh, view, you can move it back, but it's not easy to fix. So if you press this uh, button auto scale, it will auto scale again, but it will not scale 
This 1962 to 90, uh, 2022. You can just close this and you can press uh, write report after writing set X range 1962 2022 and then set uh, X ticks auto -frag. when you are writing a comment if you press ctrl R and continue writing like auto -frag, you can find a comment from your history then type replot then you will see that your a graph fix is fixed actually a new plot is used for making graphs quickly using output of some codes for example like if you are doing computational fluid dynamics and if you are writing your mass flow rate like at each time step into a file text file you can check it uh, like every in in an hour if your computations are going well then you can continue computing on your computer for example or uh, if you have a data file you update like daily you can check your data file daily by using this command line when you do that uh, the main idea behind that uh, is not making a beautiful graph but <clears throat> you are trying to see if your uh, process is going well so you don't need to make your graph very beautiful but if you are preparing your graphs for your reports or your thesis for example uh, you can make you can use new plot to make beautiful graphs but in that case we do not use new plot on the terminal like this we just write scripts like we write shell scripts python scripts you would remember that we were be, we were also be able to use a uh, python on the terminal like new plot we are using now here but we don't use python on the terminal usually it's the same as new plot we don't use new plot on the terminal usually but this is the way how to use new plot on the terminal but in a couple of minutes we will see that uh, we can write all these comments in a script and we can run the, that script to generate like PDF files for example instead of this pop-up window or PNG files for graphs or pictures all right so now let's continue uh, we will see how to write new plot scripts soon if you move this one uh, like this for example and when you press this one if you don't see this don't care about that you don't need to write these comments again and again okay here we can set the grid uh, in the background of your graph just by just using this set grid command when you type replot you should see the grid in the background the default grid is a dotted gray line something <coughs> uh, and it sets the grid on the uh, ticks you just defined as default but you can change it you can put one more grid line here and like uh, four more grid lines between the years to uh, represent like 2.5 years each and like 35 here 45 here or something without changing the tick uh, tick names here like in 2002 2012 something okay 
Uh, to do that, you can use this set grid x ticks m x ticks set grid x ticks m x ticks and then set m x ticks 5 and set grid y ticks and y ticks and set m y ticks 2 for example, then you can replot. When you do that, you will see that your grid is finer now. Uh, you can change the grid uh, type and color by using this set grid LT line type minus one, for example, which is a solid line and LT zero. When you replot, you will see that your grid lines are uh, now solid lines your main grid lines are solid lines and the other grid lines are dotted lines please play uh, with this command to see the differences you can also use you can improve your view by just typing this command set grid line with it one line type is something uh, the color is gray line with it one line type is something and the color is gray for example when you press enter you will see a better graph like this I think now let's work on scripts using new plot in the next video